Okay, this is Captain Roger on the SS Thomas. We don't have enough wind out here, and I actually uh, broke one of my fittings, and I didn't want to run with the sails up on light winds with the fitting broke until I replace it because I don't want my wires to come down off of the mast. So what I wanted to show you real quick today, it's like beautiful out here. Uh, it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. We're running on the motor. And what I wanted to do is show you a little bit about navigation. Let me go over here. Let's see, there's a bungee strap I hooked onto the steering wheel. Let me turn a little bit. We'll try that. So I got the bungee strap right here, hooked right on the steering wheel. And that should keep us fairly straight as long as I get this set right. And then I'll come over here. Now I've got the laptop sitting up down here. Let's see if we can see the screen. Uh, we might have to move it inside, but right here you'll see the red boat and it's showing you the direction of travel that I'm on let's move this inside the cabin and see if we can still pick up the GPS on this so it'll be easier to see I think okay tilt the screen back a little bit okay and we look up we're heading right for that red marker we look good Causeway Bridge over there we just left port over here there's another boat sitting there and another guy on his boat there Here's the docks I left. Okay, on the nav system now, right here, you can see the red boat right there. That's me moving now. The GPS is automatically tracking on this, and you can see it shows you all the depths and everything else on here. But uh, I'm in uh, six feet of water, and I'm traveling right next to this causeway bridge. We're actually gonna go underneath it on here. But yeah, this with the GPS, each one of these uh, dotted lines, it shows me a quarter mile out from each one. So I got four of them set up so that I can see one nautical mile out from the boat in a circle. So I can see all the other boats, well not without the Jeep. Well, if I had a radar I could hook it up and it would show me all the boats out there in the uh, outer ring where the other boats are. But it basically just shows you the direction of travel, where we're going. Look up, that's exactly where we're going because we're going along this causeway bridge but we're going out away from it. So right now we show it going out and away from it and basically it shows me all my depths I'm in six feet of water and I'm going here to six feet of water I want to skip that spot right there that's a dredge spot so I want to go a little bit to the uh, right of that but it'll show you I'll be in uh, 12 feet out here when I hit this but uh, these nav charts show you all the different depths and everything else and it's really cheap to set up this system now I'm using C clear which is by Spin Corporation, and they distribute this program for free to everybody. And the navigation charts that you're uh, looking at on here, this navigation charts are free if you go to noaa.gov and look up navigation charts. RNC charts, you can download all the US charts in the United States for free. Shows you we're gonna be moving over here and you can see the dock and everything set up over here. We're gonna park outside of here because there's a band playing here tonight and we're gonna to go listen to the band. So that's why we're moving and we'll just look up again. And there's uh, no boats around, we're still going. Right for that red marker, I'm heading straight over there. We're doing really good with this. I'm gonna actually turn, let's see. I'm looking back, so I want to go a little bit to the right, so I'm actually going to adjust the bungee strap on the steering wheel. So I'm going to start bringing her a little bit to the right, because I want to miss that spoils area. Now if you look at the chart, it's recalculating my uh, track, and I'm on the side of the spoils area, which is a shallower area. And there's no number there, because they don't know how deep it is. If uh, it was higher before, but now it's getting washed down and broke down on the spoils area. So now I just uh, reset the course and we're still turning a little bit. So I look out here at the actual moving and we're good. But yeah, NOAA Gov has these free charts. Go to Spin Corporation, which is uh, C Clear, and it automatically, I've got it set up and automatically tracking. I've got it actually leaving a track where I've actually run from so I can actually see it when I come all the way over. But these are your navigation charts. I've got the entire set for the whole United States downloaded from uh, the US Gov. Just put them on your uh, laptop. Bam, you got GPS. So at night, I can navigate these channels with an extreme accuracy. I'll put this laptop out here on the uh, seat while I'm navigating where I can see it right from the steering wheel. 
and bam, everything looks good. I'm heading straight into 12 foot water and then I'm gonna head across the bridge right here to the other side and I'm gonna come over here to where the band is gonna be playing tonight. And you can see, now we gotta turn the bungee strap back just a little bit and I am on a perfect course. See, that's what I love about that bungee strap on the steering wheel. It just holds her pretty good. You can see the wake, the motor's pushing the wag back. Got the canoe tied to the side. Just moving right along. I'm over here on the front of the boat. This is my fitting that's broke, if you see it right here. Uh, this fitting right there is cracked across there, and that's holding up one of my stays. So I can't put the sails up until I get that fixed. But throw a little bit of a wake out here, so we're moving right along. Nice slow speed for cruising out here on the motor. So we can go listen to a band, you know, it's like uh, probably about half an hour yet till we get to the band. But this is sailing in Florida. And once I get that turnbuckle fixed, I will definitely have my sails back up again. I just don't have any money to replace the turnbuckle. It's about 60 bucks. This is the water. Look how peaceful it is out here this evening. This is winter time in Florida. Now I don't know if you can see it over there. There's a float, crab trap. You'll see floats from crab traps out here. We're 50 feet away from it. We don't have to worry about turning the boat. You just watch in front of you, no crab traps, no boaters, no nothing. And once you have your boat set up, you can set it up and pretty much uh, drive itself. We don't have autopilot, which would be really cool. So we just got to like uh, tweak the bungee strap every once in a while. Bungee, I'll just tweak that a little bit more. Eighth of a turn. Then you just watch which way you're heading on the water and we're just moving right along. Let's see how many feet up. I'm just passing into the deeper water. I'm getting out of the blue area, which was six feet. And I'm passing right here. You can see the red boat passing down here and we're just crossing into the deeper zone. We're going to be uh, 11 to 12 feet here in just a uh, half a minute. And uh, as you can see, we're way away from the spoils area. We don't want to drive over that because if it's only three feet deep, I draw four and a half and would be stuck. So we're almost coming up here and you can see the track for the ICW. That's the row I want to be on. So I'm going to be turning right up here, crossing the ICW underneath the bridge here in a minute. So. We're getting close to where I want to track. And if you actually look over here in real life, uh, we're coming up uh, on the ICW bridge over there is where I want to go. So we got to go forward yet. We want to go dead center on there. Now there's four lights on the bottom of the bridge and one on the top. When you go to cross at night, you got you want to see four red lights on the bottom. If you see all four of them, there's two in the center and two on this side. If you see all four, you're lined up in the middle. And then you also have a green light on the top of the bridge. It, shows you the height which is 65 feet at the top and it also shows you where the dead center is where the green light is so you got four reds and a green light in the center and if you line up on that at night bam you're right through no problem easy sailing out here at night and over here you probably can't see it from this far over there's also a red diamond marker with a light on it that marks the river channel going into the uh, Ugali River and then it also marks the intercoastal going the other way you if you're heading south, which is that, it was on our south, you would want that on your right and green on your left. And then that's a right, so you'd want that on your right. That's red, and then you'll just keep going towards the other bridge on the other side. 
but I just wanted to show you easy navigation. We're coming up here. Oh, I turned the steering wheel just a little bit. You can see the boat on there. It actually turned back to the left a little bit. I'm going to start cranking her back around. But this is our navigation system. Just basically a laptop, a free computer program from uh, Spin Corporation, and free NOAA navigation charts for the United States. And you can set up your boat. The, the GPS I got at uh, Office Depot for, let me turn the steering wheel, hold on a second. Office Depot had a uh, street maps program with the GPS transponder for 60 bucks. So I didn't have to go buy no fancy, expensive GPS unit. I'm gonna start cranking her to the right. There we go. I'm gonna start turning the boat towards that way. But uh, for 60 bucks, Office Depot had the GPS transponder with roadmaps. So I also have roadmaps on here when you're at shore. And uh, I loaded, you gotta load that on there and it loads the GPS program on. Once you got the GPS program on, the sea clear pulled right up, bam, I set the COM port for which port I plugged the GPS into. And the road maps tells you which port it's in. And then, uh, bam, that's what you get, nav charts. Now we're actually readjusting course. I took the bungee off the steering wheel. I'm turning the steering wheel to the right. I'm going right around this uh, float. You probably can't see it in the water. It's kind of small with this. But we're readjusting for the center of the bridge. We're, I'm just making a nice, wide, slow turn. So if you look at our GPS, uh, we're actually almost right there to the tracking line where it goes straight in. And sure enough, there it is. Now I'm going to spin the wheel a little faster. Because I can pretty much start lining her up. And we also have power lines on here. Now these nav charts, they show you the depths of the water, where you're at. It uh, shows you uh, where the power lines are, or the bridge, the heights. Tells you everything you need to navigate safely along the intercoastal or the oceans. I have all the ocean charts too downloaded. Now you can just download uh, from NOAA.gov the RNC charts for just the town you're in, for the state you're in, whatever charts you want, or all the U.S. charts, the east and the west coast. I used to have years ago the Bahamas and the Caribbean and all the Canadian charts and then they all got lost over the years. So now it's just using the free charts. Otherwise uh, you can go to MapTech Corporation and buy their expensive programs or you can get their charts from them. Anywhere you want to go in the world you get navigation charts. You can look that up on the internet, you can Google it. MapTech is probably who I'd buy from. Uh, not discrimination against the other companies it's like it's all the same they purchase all the NOAA charts uh, set them all up for computer use and bam there you go they have a really good nav program there's a lot of them out there and a bunch of them are free there's other ones besides SeaClear. SeaClear is just really simple to use it just follows me wherever I go pulls up whenever time you switch to another chart they automatically reload the charts to the next zone that you're going through so that's a little lesson on navigation and uh, setting up your... If you look right over here, now we're getting closer to pointed right into the bridge. I'm still a little bit off a little bit from the track. You can see the boat's almost lined up now. We're still turning slowly and we're going to head right for that bridge. Look, there she is. So we're right on track with the nav system. But this is our nav system and coming right along on the bridge. As you can see, there it is. Our boat's just about lined up. I'm just heading just a little bit south, yeah. But um, she's coming right up on the bridge, and now you just watch where you're at. Oops, little drift. Gotta go to the right again. She drifted while I was uh, over by the cabin. But another guy going fishing. We're heading across. We're going to the band. Gonna go listen to some music tonight. It's probably about five o'clock, another two hours and the sun will be down and the band will be playing. I'll be anchored out, spending the night over here for a few days, probably a three, four, maybe five days. I'm working this week, so I'll be just like uh, taking the dinghy up the shore and back to go to work.
beautiful out here, isn't it? Uh, it's like uh, 72 degrees. It was almost 80 today. It was like 77, 78 degrees outside today. It's like cooling off now. The sun started going down already. It's already down to 72. But right here is where I wanted to be lined up. I'm just a hair on the right for where dead center is. So I'm just a little bit on the right and the nav chart shows me just a hair off from the tracking. So uh, we're pretty darn close to what the maps are showing. All right, that's navigation. Have a good night.